up everyone? All right, well today is day 12 of the small account challenge and I'm up $24.80. That's it, one trade. I didn't see anything else that looked good. Uh, I just couldn't get, I just couldn't get in the groove today. And in my main account, I was red on the day. So that's an indicator, probably just the, the choppiness of the market. So I think it was the right approach not to take any more trades today. So I, I would have allowed myself two trades, but I didn't see a second one that looked good. So one trade, a small green day, it's better than a red day, but you know, it's really, really nothing much. Uh, and it wasn't a very good trade. I'll break it down during the recap. Uh, and as always, in case you didn't already know, trading is risky. Most beginner traders lose money. So you should assume that you'll lose money. And with that in mind, trade in a simulator before you put real money on the line. All right, trade cautiously. I'll see you guys first thing tomorrow morning for day 13. All right, everyone. So today is day 12, I believe, of the small count challenge. And uh, yeah, day 12. And I'm sitting up $24.80. And I'm not going to keep trading today. You know, unfortunately, we didn't have a great gap scanner today. INFI, float was too high. GRVI, this was okay, uh, but it was quite choppy. And I, I didn't trade it very well. I traded it in my main account. I didn't trust it in the small account. I made 10,000 and lost 15, so I'm down 5,000 on it. Uh, BTBT is a crypto, Bitcoin, sympathy stock. I didn't want to trade that. SPRT, I thought maybe if it got over eight um, or, or over nine, broke a v, break a VWAP, but it couldn't do it. Most of the move on this has been after hours and during regular trading, it's been tricky. I'm not sure why. Um, and, and so anyways, really didn't have a whole lot that looked great. Um, FLGC hitting the scanners. Uh, you know, I was kind of looking at that one earlier, but volume was very light and didn't end up really making much of a move at the time. But it is an all-time high sort of setup. So these ones can open up a bit, but the float's 35 million shares. So, um, but then of course the one I traded um, was not a very good trade at all, ASXC. Someone posted uh, in the chat room, ASXC news, 9 a.m. And I was looking for news at 9 a.m. I was hoping we would have some headline at 9 a.m. that would give a nice trade. And so I uh, pulled it up and I saw that it had just spiked from 220-250. And I was like, okay, here we go. We've got news on it. And so I typed in the symbol. So I, I typed it in and punched the buy button, bought it $2.45. Uh, and I bought, let's see, so 2,480 shares, which was basically the uh, biggest position I could take with 95%, 90% buying power. And, uh, you know, it popped up there to 279 and I stopped out and it came back down at uh, 246, made $24.80, uh, one penny per share, exactly one penny. It's just lame. Uh, it ended up curling back up a little bit towards um, at the open and throughout the morning. But uh, yeah, so that was it. And at that point I was just like, you know what? I shouldn't have taken the trade because what I neglected to do was check the float. Normally when a stock uh, is hitting my scanners, it'll show the float. Now this one wasn't hitting my scans and I thought, well, maybe that's because the way my settings are too tight, it's just missing the scan. And that sometimes happens. But I jumped into it and then I realized after the fact, um, I, so I type in the symbol here, um, ADXC or AS, AS, um, XC, and I checked the float, 232 million shares. That's a large cap. It's, it's not a small cap in terms of the price or in terms of the float. And that was a mistake. I shouldn't have taken that trade and I ended up bailing on it. So, you know, large float, more, stocks with larger floats, um, you know, whether it's a mid cap or large cap, this is probably, it's not really a true small cap with a float that big, even though the price is low they can be tricky and you have those algos that are on those types of stocks much more than on large cap or than on uh, true small caps with floats of under 10 or 15 million shares and you know you get that sort of algo spike on news it pops up and then immediately reverses that's so common and that was a trade that i jumped in too quickly too aggressively and i'm lucky it wasn't a two three hundred dollar loss because it easily could have been so that was a mistake and 
uh, I was kind of a little desperate for a trade. I really wanted to get a trade, and um, I should have just I should have just sat on the sidelines and waited. And if I had done that, I probably wouldn't wouldn't have ended up taking any trades today, and that would have been better than one bad trade. So that's day 12, not really a great day there, but uh, we'll live to trade another day and we'll be back at it first thing tomorrow. Something I, I was struggling with a little bit with some of these like FLGC and also um, GRVI a little bit and, and definitely SPRT is, you know, they're still a little on the expensive side. You know, on a stock like this, given that my account balance right now is like $7,200, I can't buy even a thousand shares of a stock at $9. So I'm looking at seven, eight hundred shares, and I'm asking myself, man, seven, eight hundred shares. You know, I mean, I, I don't know if I'm even going to make 20, 20 cents on it. Is it really worth it to take that one trade on something that I, I don't even know I, that I'm going to get 20 cents on it? It's like 150, 160 bucks. So that's part of my calculation right now that will be less of a factor as the account grows, but. And then that was, you know, the other reason I was so aggressive on ASXC. I was like, it's the right price. It's the right price for the small account. This this thing could, could move. And, you know, that over um, overtook my kind of due diligence and it resulted in a pretty, uh, pretty silly trade. So that's day 12 in the books. Uh, one trade, one entry, one exit. And I'll be back at it tomorrow for day 13. All right, see you guys then. And that right there was an entire video with no ads. I don't monetize my YouTube channel with video ads, which means you guys get to enjoy the content. But do me a favor, please hit that subscribe button and give me a thumbs up and let YouTube know that this channel is the channel to watch if you wanna learn about day trading.